and welcome to the third uh, Elementals Meditation video. Uh, this video will be all about the fire element. Now, um, I just wanted to say and let you know that you don't actually have to do um, this um, meditations in this particular sequence. This is just a sequence that I uh, prefer and that I am accustomed to as I take you through uh, the sequence because these elements, they complement one another, one another um, and I, I'm removed through um, some particular chakras, you know, but if you feel that uh, you're more compelled to do um, out of the sequence, you know, or just do one of the videos in a sequence um, for that particular session or that particular day, uh, and that's just what you need, that's absolutely fine. As well, okay, so you don't have to, it's not a um, very strict rule or guideline that you have to follow it in this particular sequence. Of course, if you do uh, would like to take uh, the journey with me, you certainly can, but uh, at any time, if you feel that you want to skip or, or um, do any other video um, for your meditation practice, that's absolutely fine. Alright, so for this particular video, uh, we're talking about uh, this is the third. Um, element that we come into the five elements. So according to the yogic philosophy, there are five elements um, in our whole system, in our whole body system, in the environment system. Um, and this one is uh, very specific to uh, the five elements. All right. So uh, let us begin, right? You can uh, remain seated uh, on your mats. If you feel that you need a cushion, underneath the buttocks or a pillow from pillow you can yeah prop yourself up if you find that maybe you can't sit uh, tall all the time and you need to lean back against the wall you're more than welcome to do so or if you feel that you need to sit on a chair because you're unable to sit on the ground um, more than welcome to do so as well if you are on a chair <clears throat> just try to make sure that your feet are firmly planted um, on the ground um, and if they're not maybe um, have a stool um, or some blocks underneath the feet. Okay, that's all. All right, so yeah, let's uh, come and begin. So we come to a comfortable seated position first. Just any simple cross legs, keeping the side ribs nice and lifted. Feel that the spine is long. You can roll the head of the armbones back and rest the palms <clears throat> down on top of the knees and maybe gently close the eyes. Simply feeling and being aware of the body. Feeling the right and left um, sit bones on the ground or on the chair seat. Feeling into the lower back area, the middle back, the upper back areas. Feel the back of the neck, the back of the head, and the crown of the head. So feeling that the whole spine is really nice and long. And feel that you are sitting up really nice and tall. Slowly shifting your awareness towards the temperature of the room. Just being aware of any sounds or any movements that might be all around you. And then now slowly bringing the focus towards your breath. Being aware of the natural rhythm of your own breath as you inhale and as you exhale. Simply noticing how the breath feels. Noticing the rhythm of the breath. Noticing if maybe there are any sounds coming out from the breath. Simply observing, that's all.
And then now with a few blinks, you can gently open the eyes. And we come into a, another breathing practice, which I will guide you through, uh, just in case if you're new um, to this particular breathing method. We call this the breath of fire, yeah? otherwise known as Kapalabhati. Um, so for this particular breathing method, method, you breathe only through the nostrils and we focus on the exhalations uh, through both the nostrils at the same time. So just as an example to show you, um, what this breath pattern is like, we inhale through the nostrils. We hold the breath in at the belly and at the chest space, the lung space. And we exhale by moving the abdominal muscles in and pushing the air out through the nostrils this way. Right, so you can place one palm on the belly here and you actively draw the muscles inwards, keeping the mouth closed and then expelling the air out from both the nostrils this way. And we do this in succession uh, over a period of time with that one inhalation. So just as an example, watch me first. Yeah, you can place a hand here just to get a sensation, that's all. So we inhale, taking one inhale, feel the belly, feel the lungs. And exhale. Alright, so it's actively exhaling through the nostrils while we draw the uh, abdominal muscles in to push the diaphragm up and expel the air. Alright, so just focusing on the movement of the belly and not thinking too much uh, about what the, the rest of the body is doing. Right, So just focus here and we're just going to do this for one round. Alright, so you can come to a comfortable, Yeah, see the position. All right. If you prefer to keep the eyes closed, you can. If you're new to this, you can keep the eyes open. That's absolutely fine. We'll do this for two rounds, okay? Meaning two inhalations with all the exhalations. We try to do as many as we can, maybe up to 30, even 40 times. And then we take a bit of a pause in between, and then we do it the second round. And if your eyes are open for the first round, if you want to close them for the second round, absolutely fine. All right? So, all right? Coming to just back to the natural breath. Don't overthink um, the breath practice too much. And if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes. If you like to remain open, keep them open. All together here, just fully exhaling. You can place the palm on the belly if you prefer. Then inhale, feel the belly, feel the lungs. And we begin. Then take an inhale here, hold the breath, you can close the eyes, and softly exhale. Stay here first for one breath. As we move into the second round, all together fully exhaling, you can close the eyes if you prefer. Inhale, feel the belly, feel the lungs. And we begin. Exit, exit.
exhale inhale hold the breath in and softly exhale to release Now maintain the eyes closed if the eyes aren't already closed. Feeling that sense of heat generated in the body, especially at the navel space, the abdominal area. Feel the heat from the navel space. Feel as if it's pushing into the back of the spine, that lower back area as well. Feel the heat into this entire part of the torso, part of the body. The sense of heat, the fire element coming into our Mani Pura Chakra, the third chakra in the chakra system, which is also the element of fire. So I'm really noticing and sensing what this element here means to you. Maybe visualizing fire in this particular part of the body. Maybe sensing the color of fire, which could be a really bright red or yellow. Uh, yellow strong, strong, golden kind of yellow flame. A really big fire burning in this particular area here. Feel that this is fire that is emanating from, from yourself, right? from that navel space, the space where we were all connected to our own mothers above, and the umbilical cord, the navel area here. So from here is where it stems this sense of action as well. This sense of really strong uh, identity too. Feel that this particular fire is burning and beautifully lighted up. This big, wonderful flame of the fire in the navel space, that belly area here is that sense of you is that sense of your passion it gives you that sense of who you really are Feel that from this particular space, that navel center, the Manipura Chakra. Feel that this fire is growing bigger and bigger. And that even though this fire is growing bigger and bigger, but it is not a harmful fire, it is a very pleasant warming sense in the whole body and it feels really comfortable for your body you feel that this fire is very similar to maybe your body temperature so you can feel the heat uh, you can sense the heat but it is not burning your skin it is not burning your body it is just how it is it's just who you are this sense of fire igniting from the navel space and expanding out into the entire physical body area. 
feel that the whole body is filled with this sense of yellowness this yellow light or maybe for some of us it is red and it's really strong if you if you notice flames usually the yellow flame is the biggest and brightest area of that flame of, of the fire and that is that genuineness there that you are trying to connect to in this particular moment feel that you are really sure of yourself that you have a lot of strength a lot of courage and a lot of passion that stems really from this space of this navel area here your manipura chakra the area of action the area of passion the area of knowing and self-knowledge here so really feeling and connecting to not just how uh, it feels right, in terms of um, qualities or values but also noticing how it feels you know in terms of a sensation right? like i said it feels warm it feels comfortable and you feel um, you feel that you are one with it it doesn't feel foreign to you and maybe you feel a taste try to sense what this uh, taste of this fire this energy this courage feels like for you maybe it is a particular sound as well so simply noticing uh, what your body is sensing what the body is feeling what the mind is connecting to and just sitting here for a little while absorbing noticing and taking in all these sensations around you as you feel this whole flame in the entire body area this really strong big steady courageous flame simply noticing and sensing And then now visualizing that this fire that is that has engulfed the whole body with this sense of light or this passion and this energy feel right that there is still that uh, magnitude and the largeness of this sensation just that it is now slowly compressing itself into a smaller smaller sized flame feel that the sensation of the bigness and that magnitudeness is there but it's just that it is compacting and compressing itself into a smaller more manageable size of a fire of a flame as you visualize this uh, fire of this energy coming back towards that that place where we first started at the navel area the manipura chakra so it's now compressed and all this energy is now compressed into this smaller ball of flame like a little ball of light at the navel space and you can see that within this smaller flame within this ball of light that is sitting 
right at the navel space, you notice that within this ball of energy, this ball of light, within this this fire, this like this fireball, you notice something sparkling inside, and it is sparkling. Just noticing the colors and what the colors are like. Maybe the color is uh, a gold kind of color, or maybe it's silver, or maybe it's clear, but it's sparkling. It's really, really bright. And as you notice and you look deep into that fireball, you're able to see through this this ball of fire, this flame, um, that you can see that that is a jewel right in the middle of this fireball and this jewel is shining so brightly that you can't quite see what it is just yet but you know that it's really bright and as you try to focus your sight uh, into this particular uh, into this particular light that is in that fireball you slowly start to make out a shape of this particular jewel uh, noticing the shape of the jewel the size of the jewel and then now really noticing right the color of the jewel as well maybe it is really um, uh, iridescent and that you feel that this uh, light is uh, just refracting everywhere bouncing off um, all the different angles, you feel that maybe it's really glossy, or really shiny, just simply noticing the color, the shape, the size um, of this particular jewel right here in this fireball. And as you come to really um, see the details of this particular jewel, you know um, deep down inside that this jewel is actually a representation of you, of who you are. And you are this beautiful, wonderful jewel, this gem that you have just um, been able to really see. You see all the different sides and angles of this jewel. You see the color that this jewel or this gem emanates and you can feel right this sense of um, of um, of value right this sense of um, of of trueness of realness in this particular uh, gem and this particular jewel right because Manipura chakra Manipura is our jewel center so really noticing and maybe it's like a, like a crystal you know that uh, you can hold and you can touch and you can feel maybe feeling what the texture is like as well feeling um, what the um, what the uh, sensation feels like in the hand does it feel cool does it feel warm you know does it feel like it's sparkling and noticing uh, once more all these qualities and values of this particular jewel looking at it admiring it because it is you and be in awe um, and in wonderment of how beautiful right, this jewel and how how beautiful you truly truly are so really just staying with this sensation, this energy, this sense of wonderment, this sense of awe, this sense of knowing for a little while. And let the jewel remain here at that navel space, this navel center. But you feel that now the light from this jewel or from this gem right, that you have just envisioned in yourself feel that the light from this particular gem is now gently floating upwards from that navel space you feel that this light is now slowly moving upwards towards the middle of the chest space 
and you feel that this light that is in the middle of the chest space now is transforming into another small flame it is a really small flame and it is a blue colored flame this flame sits right at the chest space the middle of the heart space and this flame right here right now is at what we call our our heart chakra anahata chakra and with this blue flame we notice that this flame is a very very steady flame it's not flickering or moving about you know it's really tiny blue it's it's kind of you know when you just light um you know bunsen burners when you just or when you're lighting the stove and you first turn it on there's this really tiny blue flame um, right in the middle, right in the center, um, or even in the candle, this really tiny blue flame right at the wick itself. This steady, steady, steady flame. We have that yellow flame that is encompassing all around that blue flame, but that blue flame is constantly there, just burning. Constantly just burning. And this blue flame that represents our heart chakra is constantly burning and is constantly steady. From this sense of steadiness and knowingness, this sense of calmness here, and this sense of, of stillness that we have inside us, this, it is from this stillness that we already have intrinsically inside of us that is constantly turned on, switched on, which is um, feeding that yellow flame all around us, which was that flame of action, right? Which made the jewel that is still sitting in that navel space in your Manipura chakra. So, yeah, just really noticing how from this blue flame, this really little tiny steady flame, that something so beautiful and so wonderful can emerge and can grow. So I'd like you to just stay with this blue flame here. And the flame maybe blue but maybe in the heart chakra area you might feel a sense of slightly different color as well and that's absolutely fine maybe the sensation here at this particular chakra is slightly different maybe you feel a sense of um, oneness, you feel a sense of balance, simply noticing okay, this, what the body is sensing, what you are feeling. And I'd like you to really know and understand that everything that you do comes from this space, right? this space in the heart center. The heart center being the fourth chakra in the system, which is right in the middle of the seven chakras. We have three more chakras downwards, which we have uh, discovered, and we have three more upwards. So this sense of this particular chakra, the heart chakra, is this sense of balance, this sense of the yin and the yang, the sense of the stillness and the action, the sense of harmony here. 
So always knowing and understanding from they're from this place of harmony, this place of stillness, this place of yeah, if we want to call it love. We all know this as love, right? This steadiness right here. This love that is within you, within yourself, that powers and spreads into all directions, moving downwards into the lower chakras and moving upwards into the upward chakras as well, into the upward space. And it's from here that everything kind of blows and grows, uh, um, blooms and grows. <laughs> Now, if you'd like to, you can place your palms at your chest space. Preferably your left palm closer to the chest space or the heart space. And just feeling and noticing your heartbeat, noticing the breath, noticing the body, noticing how the body feels, maybe feeling a sense of energy from that heart space. You feel that it is moving outwards, so you can maybe feel it in the palms, in your hands. Maybe you feel that the energy is circulating this energy of love, of compassion coming out into the hands itself, right? into the physical hands and know that you can use your hands for actions, acts of kindness, acts of compassion, acts of love. You have the power in your hands to do that. And then from here, you can slowly start to draw that awareness back to its, the physical body as you gently release the arms down. You can maintain the eyes closed. Simply just noticing these two areas that we worked into today, the fire element at the Manipura Chakra, that navel space, and the fire element in the heart space, these two areas. Noticing, sensing, if anything else came to you, a message or um, another sensation altogether or any other kind of visualization and images, sounds, lights, colors, whatever uh, that came to you or even if you're just noticing it right now. Notice it in detail. If some parts are a little bit blurry or unclear, don't worry about it. Just simply taking in as much as you can. And then with a few blinks, gently opening the eyes. So I hope that you have really enjoyed this particular um, uh, meditation practice for this element, uh, the element of fire. Uh, this is a really beautiful one um, and one that everyone can really um, very strongly connect to very easily. Um, and as always, if you found that maybe there's something that struck you or um, something that came to you and uh, you'd like to remember it, um, or you just want to note down the experience of it, right? Please feel free to write and write it down into your journal or your notebook. And it's always good to just notice uh, what's going on 
uh, inside our mental space um, and um, just keep noticing and keep doing the practice every practice is slightly different uh, sometimes different things come to you sometimes the same things come back to you and then it's worthwhile to note that yeah which is why we write in um, our journals and our notebooks in terms of uh, what comes up and what we're observing and again if you have any questions um, you know or about the practice or about anything that, that you experience um, and you want to ask you know feel free to leave a comment leave me a note I will try my best as possible to um, 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 yeah, give you um, some sense of uh, answer or guidance somehow <laughs> uh, we're all still learning and uh, we're all still exploring and discovering things right so until then hopefully you join me for the next um, uh, elements meditation um, thank you namaste